in this project, we're going to be celebrating kindness and using this artist, Chris Riggs, as an inspiration for our own artwork that also represents kindness. And as you can see, he uses words in his artwork that represent kindness to him. And so our first job is going to be to think about words that represent kindness to each of us. First, think about the word that you'd like to use inspired by our theme of kindness. You can choose one from this list that we created together by brainstorming in class and maybe really think about one that you feel extra connected to and choose that word for your art. If you speak another language at home, you might even choose to find out how to write your kindness word in your own language and use that in your artwork instead of English. These are all different ways to say be kind in different languages, but maybe your word is different. So you might have to do a little investigation to figure out how to write it the right way so that it says what you want it to say in your artwork. Now it's time to think like an artist and try out different ways of writing your word with different fonts that makes it a little more interesting than your regular handwriting. Remember, however you choose to write your word, you're gonna have to repeat it in that same way between 20 and 40 times to complete this project. So make sure not to choose anything too complicated. If you need some extra inspiration, go look through your kitchen. Every single thing you eat every day that comes in a package was designed by an artist and they chose the lettering and the font to look that way to represent that product. So you might find some inspiration in unexpected places if you start to use your artist eyes and look around your house. Your next decision is going to be how your words fill your paper. Are they going to go up on a diagonal? Maybe down on a diagonal? Maybe from top to bottom? Or straight across from left to right? Or maybe they come across your paper and create a curved line like a rainbow? This could change the whole look and feel of your artwork, so think about it carefully. Once we have our word chosen, and we know how we want to write our word, and we have a clear plan of how we want to fill our paper with that word, your next step is gonna to be to organize your art materials in order from lightest to darkest. And you're gonna begin with your lightest color first, and you're gonna work slowly with that lightest color filling your whole space, and then go to the next color and then the next color using the very darkest color last. This will work best for your layering. I would recommend using at least five colors, but you can really use as many as you want because this is your artwork and that is your choice. And even though I'm using only markers in my examples, you can use whatever drawing materials you have. Markers, crayons, colored pencils, oil pastels, chalk pastels, whatever you feel like using for this project is fine. Just as long as you stick to using the lightest color first and going in order from light to dark. You can use whatever drawing material you would like. I cannot wait to see all the different ideas that you come up with for this creative project. 